Well, the desire to see more people like herself was the main reason Mercy Mugure decided to start a magazine. And not just any publication, but one that specifically highlights stories of individuals living with disability. Under the name Ability Africa magazine, Mercy and her team have worked tirelessly over the last three years to change the perceptions of disability in Africa through the power of their stories. Here now is her story. On tonight's Her Say. This is Mercy Mugure. We find her busy at work in her Kitengela office. She's founder and head writer at Ability Africa magazine, a publication that started three years ago to raise awareness about people living with disabilities. Actually, our focus is not just for people with disabilities. Our audience is people without disabilities because the idea is to humanize disability. The magazine has grown with eight on-staff writers producing stories on albinism, cerebral palsy, and other conditions for the quarterly publication. Mercy started the magazine out of frustration, knowing all too well what it's like to have her ability to walk threatened by a rare bone condition known as osteomyelitis that she contracted at the age of 10. By the time I'm getting to adolescence, I suffer low self-esteem. I can't play with others. And then um, it became a different world. And I think that's the time now I started wishing. And then I think I was the only one in my village who was with a disability. Now, I was I kept asking, are there others like me? Where are they? What is their story? She suffered stigma due to the ignorance of those in her community. The way people would refer me, if you want to explain, uh, maybe you're, I say your visitor, you're coming to our home, in our mother tongue, they would say, that's the girl with the leg. And then I would ask myself, I have sisters, do they not have the legs? Like, you know, there is that bit that identifies your disability and people call you in terms of your disability. These hurtful experiences motivated Mercy to have a publication that would help the wider public understand and embrace people living with disabilities. Though the magazine is a source of pride for Mercy, one little human being has managed to steal some of that shine. It's amazing being a mother. Um, the doctor now started telling me, you know, with your kind of disability you have, you will have issues with your back, pregnancy, you need a lot of care. Thank God the pregnancy was the most small. Even to an extent, my colleagues started telling me they pray that when they get pregnant, it can be as easy as my pregnancy was. She counts her pregnancy and life so far a miracle and blessing that she hopes serves as an inspiration to others to keep defying the odds. For now, Mercy and her team will work to continue to do what they can to change the narrative of disability in Africa one story at a time.